That's right, thou hadst better run. Um, I wasn't running. It was more of a strut. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't talking to you. Look, I'm busy. Can we just cut to the part where you call me geek and then strut off to rehearse with your fellow Neanderthals? I practice with my fellow Neanderthals. Words matter. What are you reading? Thor. What's it about? Or are you too busy? You asked for it. Imagine, if you will. That Earth is just one of nine realms in the galaxy, but no realm shines brighter than the distant kingdom in the stars, Asgard, home to the gods and goddesses of Norse mythology. With me? Uh-huh. Viking gods are real, mm -hmm. and they live in outer space. Yep. Got it. Thor is the Norse god of thunder. As a son of King Odin, he's a prince who receives that all. His younger brother Loki is, shall we say, tragically misunderstood. So basically, I'm Thor, and you're Loki in this equation. Uh, but do you have a magic warhammer called Mjolnir? Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Mjolnir, Thor's magic hammer, amplifies his power to rain thunder and lightning and down on his enemies. Oh, and it makes him fly. Handy. But where be the romance, you say? Thor's true love is Jane Foster Burr. Since Thor is a 1,500-year-old Asgardian, and Jane is more told of complications than Sue. So. Oh, don't even get me started on long-distance relationships. So, what happens in that one? See for yourself. I've read it twice. Oh, and uh, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, geek. Where is Yulmir? Don't call me. What if I trust? 
Cosmic Warhammer! Shattered? Destroyed by the Dark God Paradis some 3,000 years ago. And how stands the kingdom of Asgard itself? My home! Destroyed by Ragnarok, the end of days. He led us bravely to a new home. And, and Jane? Is my beloved too lost to time? Your silence speaks volumes. All gone then. Even my memory. The mind can bury memories deep, Grandfather, but all is not forgotten. Delve now. Your life has spanned millennia. You have loved fiercely and lost valiantly. You have fought alongside honored friends and smoke countless and Oh, she means you kick so much ass. Booty. Is there nothing you remember, Grandfather? Loki. Ah, caught in mischief. Your adopted brother. Wait. I was your half-brother. He was my brother! Ah, the subject has cleared your mind of cobwebs, Grandfather. Time has invested you yet. Tell us of Loki. We mustn't tax him, Bree. Ugh, lighten up, Elisa. Let's hear the dirt. What do you remember of Loki, Grandfather? I remember. But Loki was always kind of a jerk. <laughs> my hammer and admit no one else would dare enter my room unbidden. No one else would dare enter your room because of the stench. Honestly, Thor, it's called deodorant. We just kind of slather it everywhere. I'm going to count down from five. Ten bucks says you can't do it in Old Norse. Finn! Ooh, color me surprised. You're here. I did not see that coming. Three here. You're doing so good. Three here. Seriously, I did not see your hammer. I have at me. Stop that. Seriously, I hate when you do this. Boys! Good morning, Father. Have you lost your adolescent minds? Your arguing is like to win your father from his kingly meditation. Now, what is the emergency this time? Loki stole my hammer and refuses to give it back. The runt. Pardon moi. I'm not a runt. I'm lying. Nor have you any proof to back up this accusation? Sheesh. <laughs> you really know how to hurt a guy. Loki. My dear son, did you steal Thor's precious hammer? I did not steal it. Why? I simply borrowed it. Now, Thor, what do you so desperately need the hammer? I should think you would both be occupied with last-minute studies for this afternoon's final exams. Mother, I spent the last week cramming, but since you, <laughs> since you asked, I need to hang this. The Asgard 3000 not picture here is the plain detailing on the gold wing doors. Cool. Just don't forget the vanity plate that reads ass. Asgard, Asgard. Hometown pride. Woo! <laughs> Mark me now, Loki. The day is not far off when mighty Mjolnir will sink in, sink in his two stunningly vascular proportioned hands. And on that day, a bald in your beauty skull will be the least of your work. Such taunts and threats are beneath you. My sons, now shake hands and recite the oath of brotherhood. Mom, we're not hawks anymore. And he's just gonna do that thing where he smiles at me with all his perfect teeth, all while crushing my hand on the duck. Shake. It is an order from your queen. Good. And now the oath. We brothers, we princes as guardian, loyal and royal and proud, neither quarrel nor blunder can rend us asunder. Decree we thus far and loud. He's doing the hand thing, isn't he? Why, mother, 
I would be tattling. Enough! Both of you, off to your exams. Make me proud. And Loki. A little less stealing, if you please. Borrow it. Give it Borrow it. That's right! Now hats better run! Thor, don't let these exams trouble you. Your marks have shown great improvement these past few years. No one expects you to. Go on, Mother. Say it. No one expects me to what? I need to say your destiny. My destiny is nothing but a blunt instrument. Useful, strong, but dull. You are not dull. Blame me tailing on your dull winged doors. Hello? Serious, perhaps. But then your father grew serious once he realized what weight would rest upon his shoulders. I remember one day he just laughed less. Is that why you favor Loki? He laughs more of each passing day. Favor? I see. I was foolish to think this was about your exams. You mark me now. I have two sons. Two very different sons. Who would both one day be king. I love you equally. But perhaps with different parts of my heart. Your brother looks up to you, you know. Right. He loves you. He hates me. You are wrong. Have to keep you. Promise me. I promise. Good. Now, go hang that red tapestry and then go ace your exams. Red? Mom, no. How about lit? That's not a thing anymore. When you've lived 5,000 years, you'll see. These things always come back around. This <laughs> pretty. Sit. Mom! <laughs> So I set down my loot and I swear to God, Volstag, the crowd parted like the Egerian Sea. There stood Sid, as if, as if she was caught in a moonbeam. Her hair, a perfect obsidian halo. Her cheeks kissed red with blush. Oh, you dog. Good day, Thor. Lay on, Bandro, as Admiral reweighed the details of your escapade with bated breath. And so I made my approach. The tension, so thick, one of the serving, serving stewards swooned. Sending goblets clattering to the floor. A cacophonous echo of sick, pounding hearts. Oh, you just your word smack of dung. I thought you negative. When at last, sip and I stood, as close as custom would allow, I lifted her callous hand to my lips, for absolute for absolute suit. <gasps> then I heard, barely sip. Your words would make even Brock and God of poetry and music fumble his fingering on his silver strings. I mean, I'm spooning. And come on, what did she say? Yeah. She said. Can't believe you're getting all this close back to bounce on you with your spleen shoots out your back door. Oh! Well, <laughs> there. What? What did I miss? A most powerful little burn, Hogan. Sorry about the size of your Oh, it's all right. I am big. All the better to dominate the weak on the field of battle. Hey, yeah! A little maneuver called the praying mantis. A diagram that spoke 397 of Tyr's history of conquest. And I quote. If both arms are locked off in battle, the legs become the swinging dice by which to rip the cup of victory from your foe. Is that going to be on the combat exam? More like it's going to fall under the history of the Nine Realms. Fair warning, Master Heimdall has been obsessed with Midgard this term. Uh. Last minute pop quiz, what is Midgard's most common name? Easy, Earth. Ding, ding, and can anyone tell me what Earth's main export is? Hairspray. Big fat. Low self-esteem. And wrong, it's plastic six pack rings. But, I digress. I believe you were humiliating Fandral in a lovely bit of pure bonding. I believe he was doing that all by himself. Stop <laughs> Whoa, the masters are assembled and prepared to administer your exams. Da -da -da! Students will answer randomly slender questions on a panel of subjects ranging from History, runology, or the etiquette, mathematics, and combat. Dun 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 dun. Why not spit? Dun 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 dun. The order in which you'll meet your respected fates is as follows. Don't go on the first. 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 Vandro, Elgin, Sif, Loki. Where is he? Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. yes. 
And last, but by no means least, four, boom. <laughs> Let the examinations commence. Dr. Da -da! <laughs> you get it. Young boy, thank you, please. Follow me. <laughs> nice knowing you. Just one measly chicken to satisfy the insatiable bolster. Well, I can't help it. I lose my appetite when I'm nervous. Odin. I can't. Oh, Odin. Oh, Odin. Oh, Odin. Oh, Odin. Rise, you young, bright band of warriors and scholars. It is no surprise to see Loki the tardy missing. No doubt he's busy concocting a prank involving a firecracker and the unmentionable part of a goat. <laughs> 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 It feels good to laugh. If I may, a moment alone with my one punctual son. Hey, don't screw it up in there. Don't let them call me four down to the blood. I got this. Hey, good luck. Four. If war breaks out, I encourage you to hide in cellars. Just 
embarrassing. My infant child confessed you in fisticuffs, and he still suckles at you. You master gold. <laughs> we all have our strengths and weaknesses. I strain to remember seeing you pick up a book. All in all, well done, Loki. You graduate to Form 5 with flying colors. Thank you, masters. Presenting the next exam in four. <laughs> Brothers! Hey, how did it go? Fairly well. Oh, hey, you are so smart. I'm sorry about this morning. You know how I can be a little. Uh, are we good? I'm good. Are you good? You seem sweaty. Never better. Well, it warms the heart to see such a display of paternal affection. Perhaps we could commence with the examination. Uh, uh, of course. Hey, I I'll see you later. Not if I see you first. Masters, mommy. <laughs> I see you're in a merry mood, young Thor. Shall we begin? Question one. When are we even fighting? Thor, such impudence is unbecoming. Uh, I meant no offense, masters. Only a wise woman once told me I was growing up a little too serious. So, why not have a little fun?
Is that hangover settling in yet? I never touched the stuff myself. You should see your face. There's smoke coming out of your ears as you try to puzzle so hard. How am I doing this? Does a shape-shifting scroll replace your cherished brother? It's simpler than that. While you've been daydreaming with chariots, sucking up to mother, and flirting with manic trainers, I've been taking some lessons of my own. Lesson one, a weak mind, that's you, is easily manipulated by a cunning one. That's me. Simple trickery, really. Just a bit of mischief. Not as blunt as a hammer, but just as effective at healing results. No? Mark me now, Thor. The day may come when you are capable of wielding a magic hammer true. But my brain is my hammer. And I'm already worthy enough to wield it. Toodles! Is your baby wig? 
finding new and more out ways to demean me is your bailiwick. Pretending I'm not your brother is your bailiwick. Ah, you don't know who are Albion's either, do you? I'm joking. Jeez, for someone with all that muscle, you have awfully thin skin. Everything with you is a joke. This isn't a joke, is it? Yes, we're trapped. I, I can see that. It's my fault. What? This. I lured you into this mine with the promise of finding the perfect gift for your lady love. All right, she's not my lady love. We're just dating. That's the part you're up on? I'm telling you, this is my fault. Mine. I set a booby trap. We trudge down here in the filth, you by chance find the perfect sapphire with which to woo Greta, and as you reach out for it, bang! I only meant to shock you! <laughs> you said booby. <laughs> <laughs> Where I am, I rest my case. Thor, hear me. I'm sorry. I never expected this. I know you're sorry, and I know it's all a trap. I mean, you're you. You really think I'm an idiot, don't you? Yes, you're an idiot. That's what I thought. No, I mean you're an idiot because I would give anything to be you. Even now with the jest? No, no more jests, no more games. If this is the end, let's at least talk to each other, brother to brother. Okay, I'll start. I'm scared, we're running out of air, and I can feel it. Me too. And I I'm sorry, I've been a real bully to you lately. You're just, let me finish. I know I have my strengths, and I know I have everything handed to me on a silver platter. As much as mother and father try, they just aren't fair when it comes to you and me. I don't know why, but I confess, deep down, I relish it. I would too. I hate how smart you are. I hate how strong you are. I hate how funny you are. I hate how noble you are. I hate your stupid cool hair. I hate your stupid handsome face. What are you talking about? You're handsome. Brother, no one wants to be handsome in an offbeat way. <laughs> <laughs> we should conserve our breath. So, how are things with you and Greta? We haven't even kissed yet. What's the hold up? I don't know, I just don't really feel like myself around here. I feel like I'm always putting something on, you know? Which begs the age-old question. What is the deal with you and Sid? Odin beer! Why can't anyone let that go? Sid and I are friends. Can't a man and woman just be friends? Don't ask me. I don't have a lot of experience with friends, period. Hey, isn't there anyone you... Yeah, no. Who would have me? You're an idiot. You're so cool and super mysterious. Some brother me advice? I just think you need to... Don't say it. Put myself out there. Easy for you to say. You can call down thunder. And you can make magic with mission. I mean, that business you did convincing me that you were a father two years ago? Absolutely brilliant. Or you can call down thunder. I heard you. So do it now! Call down thunder and have a shout out to swallow a frock. We're running out of time. Brother, it might kill me? Mayhaps. That seems slightly inevitable for the both of us at, for the both of us at this point. But you'd survive. You're strong enough. Loki. I want you to. Save yourself. If you're so smart, tell me. Why should both of us have to die? No, I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. If this is the end, then we'll meet it together. As brothers. Now say it. What? You know. My God, Sir Sentimental. For absolute soon, dude. We brothers. We princes as guardian. Loyal and royal and proud. Neither quarrel nor blunder. Wait. Neither mischief nor thunder, good we, neither mischief nor thunder, can rend us asunder. Decree we thus far and loud. Thank you for not crushing my hand bones. The least I can do. And this could be it. I feel surprisingly calm. I, I, I love you, brother. And there it is! There was. I knew there was more to you than just mischief. Well then. I guess this will just have to be our little secret. Or... Wait a minute. What? For it? <laughs> you could do that the whole time? Gotcha! I hate you. You love me. Gotta hand it to you. Well played. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. But, hey, good talk. Yeah, overdue. So you really do just what's on the magic little tune? Isn't that, you know, a little defeat? No, it really is more about a clenching kind of thing. Ah, uh, I see. So what are you waiting for, dear brother? Get hammering! You don't know what defeat means. 
three, cut. follows the intimate fraternal relationship between Thor and Loki, and it's the relationship that we're all familiar with. There's a lot of tension there. While one is the quintessential hero who's destined for greatness, and one is the quintessential villain, they have a lot in common. I just immediately hooked onto the idea of teenage Thor and Loki, and what their high school life might have been, what their classes might be like, and to explore their rivalry from that age all the way through, basically even 5,000 years later. So it, it spans quite a lot of time. In my 
universe. Loki is not the bad guy. That's what was interesting to me, is kind of planting the seeds of, yes, they're rivalry, and yes, he's a prankster, and yes, they drive each other crazy, but at the end of the day, there's a real fraternal bond between them. It's really just a story of brotherhood, family, and one big hammer. It occurred to me as I was writing this, because I was kind of channeling my 15-year-old self, who was a comics nerd, and a theater nerd. And they have something in common, which is an inclusiveness. Both storytelling tools, and storytelling is fundamentally a way for people to show empathy, which I think in this day and age is a great thing. And so when I think about comic nerds and theater nerds coming together through the Marvel Spotlight Project, it's just like an explosion of sweetness and enthusiasm and empathy.